Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wives star David Woolley has finally opened up about how he feels about commemorating his first wedding anniversary with Christine Brown. His relationship with Christine, the ex-wife of Cody Brown, is what made him most famous. Despite being aware of Christine's history of polygamy, David chose to pursue her after meeting her a year after her separation. David and Christine transformed from friends to soulmates in the span of a year. They got married at the end of 2023 after meeting each other's families in the beginning of the year. In a special Sister Wives show, the pair broadcast their wedding. David recently posted a cute picture of himself and Christine on Instagram. He talked about his happy marriage and his appreciation for his devoted spouse in the post. David tweeted that he was happy that Christine found him and became his wife, saying, I was in Sedona a few weeks ago. It's really, really pretty there. Just like at Christine underscore Brown Suez, Christine was also hailed by David as the most thoughtful, loving, caring person. Given their affection for one another, David and Christine's most recent update isn't all that shocking. His article, however, makes clear that he still has a strong romantic attachment to her and hopes to live out the rest of his days with her. David was always Christine's soulmate, as evidenced by his affections for her. From the start, he showed her respect at all times. The primary reason Christine fell in love with David so quickly following her divorce from Cody was probably his compassionate nature. She understood that he was the best man she would ever find. After getting married, many couples give up the things they like doing together while courting and go back to their regular routines. But it appears from David's caption that he and Christine are still going out and traveling as they used to. Comparing his wife to the beautiful outdoors, the new Sister Wives cast member acknowledges her beauty and enjoys life's little pleasures. Unlike Cody, David appears to have a romantic side and gives Christine a sense of worth, beauty, and affection. Seeing David dedicate such a lovely post to his wife Christine is uplifting. His loving remarks demonstrate his sincere devotion to their union and want for its longevity. Many Sister Wives watchers, however, continue to wonder why David married Christine, believing that he would exploit her love and rely on her to get famous. All admirers might need some time to come to terms with Christine's new relationship. David, however, appears happy with his life with the Sister Wives actress and doesn't seem to care what others think. Since splitting from Cody Brown in November 2021, Sister Wives star Christine Brown has experienced a lot in her life. Christine, a 51-year-old Utah native, has a lengthy family history of polygamy. In the Apostolic United Brethren AUB, Christine's family is regarded as royalty. Cody had been officially married to Mary Brown since April 1990 and to Janelle Brown through a spiritual marriage in January 1993 before marrying Christine in March 1994. Isabel, Truly, Aspen, Michael T., Gwendolyn and Paydon Brown are the six children that Christine and Cody had together. The patriarch of Sister Wives only had one wife after Christine was the first of three women to leave. On Valentine's Day in 2023, Christine made her romance with David Woolley public. In 2022, Christine met David on a dating website and started dating him. Before becoming public, Christine and David were said to have been dating for three months. A year after Christine and Cody's breakup, the news was announced. Christine was thrilled to announce that she had at last met the love of her life. In April 2023, two months later, Christine and David got engaged. On October 7, 2023, Christine and David were married. According to People, the ceremony was held in front of 330 guests in Moab, Utah. Christine's marriage to David was her first official union because she was only spiritually married to Cody. Christine looked young in her off-the-shoulder wedding gown with beautiful flower embroidery, and she called her wedding a dream come true and a fairy tale. David, meanwhile, looked sharp in his deep purple shirt and elegant black suit. On Instagram, Christine posted pictures from her wedding day. I'm so blessed, she said as the caption for her photo. My best friend and I got married. A month after their wedding, Christine posted a carousel of images from her cruise ship experience with David on Instagram. In one photo, David kissed his wife and she embraced him as the newlyweds posed on the ship's deck. In another photo, they were having a good time at dinner while the ocean was in the backdrop. Janelle went on vacation with Christine and David, according to another recent post.
Posing beside David and Christine on the ship's deck, Janelle grinned. Regarding Janelle, Christine captioned the photo saying, I told David that Janelle and her kids are part of me in the very beginning of our relationship. On July 15, 2023, Christine's daughter Gwendolyn Brown, age 21, wed her partner Beatrix K. Roz in a small ceremony in Flagstaff, Arizona. While working at a fast food restaurant, Gwen had met Beatrix. Before they began dating, Gwen had a year-long infatuation on Beatrix. Beatrix proposed to Gwen on a beautiful snow-covered picnic date and the two became engaged within six months of dating. In May 2022, they formally announced their romance on Instagram. Christine's Instagram page shows her fans that she has been living her best life throughout 2024. One of the show's most active social media users is the Sister Wives Season 19 star. Christine has published almost 20 posts on her grid in October alone. Christine frequently talks about spending time with her family, particularly Janelle, with whom she has maintained a close relationship despite her divorce from Cody. Christine even took her younger daughter, Truly Brown, to a rock performance. In October, Christine and her husband, David, also commemorated their one-year wedding anniversary. In the caption, she wrote, Alongside her co-star and close friend Janelle, Christine also participated in some press for Sister Wives Season 19. Other than Cody and Robin, the two are the only ones who did press together. But Christine has spent the entire year occupied. Since splitting from Cody, Christine has been living life to the fullest, as evidenced by her Instagram. She enjoys reading, traveling, cooking, and spending time with her family. On her Instagram feed, Christine also shares inspirational and enlightening posts. One of her wise comments is to inspire others to alter their life for the better, just as she did. After Sister Wives Season 18 and into Season 19, Christine is often leading the finest life possible. She is happier than she has ever been after making the necessary adjustments. Hopefully, Christine will still be doing well by the time Sister Wives Season 20 rolls around. Christine Brown shares some startling details about her connection with David Woolley with her children in the next Sister Wives episode. In January 2024, a two-part wedding special including footage from Christine and David's wedding was broadcast. Following the divorces of Christine, Mary, and Janelle Brown, Cody Brown was left with only Robin Brown as his only remaining wife. Cody has lived in multiple marriages for many years. He is currently in a monogamous relationship. And in Sister Wives Season 19, Robin and Cody are both trying to cope with this new normal. A sneak peek of the upcoming Sister Wives episode, in which Christine revealed fresh information about David to her family, was released by Us Weekly. Then with a laugh she added, but it only took us a week. Christine put up her hand, hoping one of her children would give her a high five. We have said the magical words to each other, she revealed. Michael T was caught completely off guard by this admission. After being pressed for further details, Christine said that David's first words were, I love you, which equally astounded Michael T. Christine went on to talk about her love with David recalling how she and David hugged away from everyone else when she first met his family. As she told the story, the camera focused on Michael T., who appeared captivated by what she was hearing. I just thought, everything is crazy all around us but right here we're going to be calm, and I legit felt calm for the first time in my life. Their heartbeats were racing, and I realized I loved him and I would do this for the rest of my life. Paydon addressed the camera at another point in the Sister Wives teaser trailer to share his opinions about his mother's decision to date someone else after splitting from Cody. He acknowledged that he wants her to feel secure and content. I'm holding judgment until I meet him, but from what I've seen and heard, she's happy and I think she'll be okay, Paydon said. Early on in their relationship, both David and Christine realized they were meant to be together. The fact that it only took them a week to tell each other, I love you, is significant. Given how traumatic the breakup with Cody was, Christine could have choose to remain alone for a while after leaving the brown patriarch behind. After that, no one would have blamed her for being cautious about forming new relationships. However, jumping right into dating David and moving forward so fast could have been interpreted as nothing more than a rebound romance that ended badly. But thus far it has held up. She even got married and didn't hesitate to use sister wives to introduce her new partner to the world. After leaving Cody, it is crucial that Christine feels secure with David. Christine is deserving of the world's happiness.
All three of Cody's ex-partners deserve happiness and positivity in their lives after everything he put them through, including Mary, Janelle, and her. The closeness and chemistry between Christine and David demonstrate their suitability for one another. Social media and the cameras haven't yet picked up any warning signs or troublesome problems. From here, Christine's life will continue to improve as long as that is the case. David Woolley, star of Sister Wives, is currently facing some significant issues. He recently disclosed that he was being followed everywhere and was being hounded. The celebrity described how this stalker has made his life quite difficult, and he seemed to be rather irritated as a result. David's audience was shocked when he revealed more startling details about his stalker. What is the point of this? Who has been following him around? Is Christine aware of this? To learn more about David and his alleged stalker, continue reading. Sister Wives David and Christine celebrated Disneyland with their families. Since walking down the aisle, Sister Wives actors Christine and David haven't turned back. Fans can't get enough of their love tale, which is presently being told in season 19. Despite being the franchise's newest coupling, their love and chemistry have already taken center stage. In the midst of all of this, Christine and David update their audience on their exciting and daring adventures. They recently made the decision to take their children on an adventure at Disneyland. Along with their families, a few of David and Christine's daughters joined them for some quality time. The couple posted a number of photos of themselves having fun on rides and exploring new locations. But David had no idea that he would run across a stalker who would fundamentally alter his life. Who has become his stalker? What had he disclosed? Does David Woolley discuss his stalker and sister wives? Who is she? David Woolley, actor of Sister Wives, always keeps his fans informed about his movements. As a result, he spoke candidly about his stalker. The celebrity revealed that he was in Sedona a few weeks ago in a long caption posted on Instagram. Woolley complimented the location's beauty and likened it to Christine's. In addition, David shared a happy photo of himself with Christine and acknowledged how happy he was to have her. The celebrity described how the past year had been hell of a ride and said, I'm so glad she found me and stalked me. He is currently living his best life. Willie said he had met the most thoughtful, loving, caring person and wants to continue writing. Indeed, Christine David's wife was the stalker. She had improved his life though, and he was happy that she stalked and came up to him. Christine had previously disclosed that she had met David on a dating website. She was struck by his appearance when she viewed his photo. She therefore wasted no time in making the decision to meet him right away. Christine has even mentioned how she knew David was the one right away. Christine was captivated by the latter's handling of the pandemonium that accompanied the Browns and their multiple marriages. She therefore realized that she wanted to live out the rest of her days with David. When Christine Brown and David Woolley began dating in 2022, they quickly declared their love for one another. Christine talked candidly with her children about the beginnings of her relationship with her now husband in a sneak peek for the Sunday, October 20th Sister Wives episode. In the video, which was shot soon after her daughter Michael T. Brown gave birth to twins in November 2022, Christine, 52, stated, We have said the magical words to each other but it only took us a week. Michael T., 28, was taken aback by her mother's admission. Within a week, you declared your love for me. She inquired and Christine said yes. The TLC star also disclosed that David, 60, was the first to use the L word. It was a week and a day. She revealed, he did say it first, but I did say it immediately after. She added, I went through and met his family and then we sat down off to the side and he just pulled my chair next to him and he just pulled me into him and we just cuddled, to further describe the enchanted moment. For the first time in my life I truly felt calm. I thought, everything is crazy all around us. I also thought, everything is going to be crazy all around us but right here we're going to be calm. His heart was beating so quickly as I laid my palm on it, and so was mine. It was similar to breathing. I just knew at that moment that I loved him, and that I would spend the rest of my life doing this. In a confessional, Christine described it as the most magical memory. Our heartbeats and souls simply synchronized, she said. And I came to the realization that I loved him. The speed of Christine's new connection appeared to stun her children, but son Paydon Brown acknowledged, I want mom to be happy. Mom needs to be safe. And I'm waiting to pass judgment until I meet David.
but based on what I've observed of her, she seems really content, so I believe she will be all right. In 2021, after almost 30 years of spiritual marriage to Cody Brown, Christine moved to Utah with their only kid, Truly. The following year, she began seeing David in secret, and on Valentine's Day of 2023, she made their relationship public. Six months after David proposed to April, they were married. Christine and David commemorated their one-year wedding anniversary earlier this month. For the occasion, the reality star posted on Instagram, Gosh, I love you. Having you as my companion has been amazing. I look forward to spending the rest of our lives together and feel incredibly fortunate to be married to you. David said, I was in Sedona a few weeks ago. It's really, really pretty there, just like Christine is, in a tribute he shared a few days later. I'm very happy that she tracked me down. It has been quite the journey over the past year. She is the most considerate, affectionate, and kind individual. I want to continue writing since I'm loving it. During a live visit last week, Christine Earthy revealed that Sister Spouse's recording is underway, revealing that delicate, loving care is making it work despite a cross-country COVID closure. The unscripted television drama chronicles the highs and lows of Cody Brown's polygamy with his four wives and multiple children. While sharing insight on her life in Flagstaff, Arizona, Christine Brown spilled the tea. When a fan received information regarding a different episode, Christine's little daughter, Gwendolyn, called in and advised her not to answer yes. According to Christine Brown, Isabel's scoliosis procedure will be revisited in a future plotline. Shortly after receiving tender loving care, Isabel was found in a wheelchair, possibly revealing that a medical operation had taken place. Sister Wives According to Christine Brown, cameras shoot every other week, allowing the group to take every week off. The fans are demanding that season 15 be different from season 14, or even season 13. Will the Browns eventually give up and start using Coyote Pass? Will Cody and Mary Brown, his uprooted number one, ever be able to reconcile? It is likely that tender loving care will wait until half a month before the premiere to announce the show's recharging. It is likely that the new season of Sister Spouses will premiere in the middle of 2021. In reference to genuine retreats, Mary is providing guests with the option to spend a few days being pampered at the overnight boarding house from February 16th to the 19th. Hello everyone, I'm here at the charming little inn, Lizzie's Legacy Motel, and I have some data for you, Mary said at the beginning of the video, addressing her 822,000 followers. We have so many advantageous things planned. It is therefore February 16th through the 19th here at the charming little inn. So, obviously, given that it's February, it will be about adoration, she continued. Rest, rejuvenation, self-indulgence, and forming new and lasting friendships. Mary continued by confirming that guests can choose from three options when making reservations. First class, tip-top, and preeminent. And after that you just have to come to the B&B &B on February 16th and I will take care of the rest, she said to potential customers. Anyway, when fans visited the website and realized that a tip-top in addition would cost $6,000 and a preeminent stay would cost $4,000, they took to the comments section to voice their thoughts. Six. A thousand? Dollars? How could that possibly include anything at all? I'm really curious, one person wrote. Another angry person said. You charge this amount while most Americans struggle to put food on the table, buy medicine and receive therapeutic help? I used to assist you but no. A third person observed. That's a big amount of change for three days in Utah? A fourth person added. I'm pulling for you Mari, but these costs are strangely high. What's more, not much is incorporated. Someone else said. She's crazy to think that $6,000 is a reasonable expense. Hard pass here if you want to put in energy with her. Additionally, another person added. I adore Mary but $6,000? The attitude here is beyond me. There are people, children, living in in rooms and practically starved in the food storehouse I manage. Regardless of whether I could afford it or not, I simply couldn't spend that much money on time with Mary. Someone else made fun of her. Obviously, she didn't learn how to do this when she first tried. For what? $6,000? And an example of adoration from you. Mary's message was made just a few days after she shocked her admirers by defending her ex-boyfriend Cody and ridiculing the comments made against him. In a joint proclamation that officially confirmed the pair had ended their marriage, 
the delicate loving care star protected her former. Last Tuesday Mary, 51, shared the articulation on her Instagram. It explained that considering a new unapproved public statement, we feel a sense of urgency to share our own reality, in our own specific manner, and in our own timing. She and Cody, 53, made sense of it. The statement continued, After over 10 years of dealing with our relationship in our own exceptional ways, we have settled on the choice to end our marriage for all time. During this cycle we are focused on thoughtfulness and regard toward one another, and all individuals from our loved ones, the former life partners continued. We are likewise dedicated to the kept recuperating of all possible associations with the family so we can push ahead with pardoning, elegance and love. The final words said by the two were, in consideration, Mary and Cody. The sister spouse's star sung a different, more furious tune in the post subtitle, even if the statement regarding the couple's breakup had all the makings of a peaceful one. Today I recover my power, Mary said before focusing her disruption on individuals, which first revealed it in December. She said, last month's article by the Legitimate Individuals magazine citing me as saying that I had affirmed that Cody and I had isolated was a finished falsehood. The TV personality said that the data, content, and timing was raw and that the information was in light of an exceptionally altered rendition of occasions that had been recorded a long time earlier. Following the taping of those meetings, Mary discovered that she and Cody had transparent conversations that led to the declaration. There is something else to be told about this story, and I assure you my reality will be told, the unscripted TV personality added in a somewhat perplexing manner. But for the time being, realize that there is harmony in my heart and I hold no animosity toward Cody. She continued, I'm not an ass that I never will be, where I will appreciate making, or seeing you make discourteous and disparaging remarks about him. You probably will have a scope of feelings and conclusions at this news and need to offer remarks, Mary said bluntly as she addressed her followers. As such, please exercise caution in recognizing that we are real people with real lives and real emotions. In addition to expressing gratitude for her marriage to Cody, the mother of one asked her supporters to avoid praising her over the breakup, saying she anticipates venturing into 2023 and her future with effortlessness, benevolence and power.